This is International Math Olympia 2014 problem number one. We're supposed to prove that for any infinite sequence of positive monotonically increasing integer numbers, there is exactly one number n greater than or equal to one such that the two inequalities shown on the screen both hold. Note that the fraction in these inequalities contains n plus 1 terms that start with a0 and end with a n, and this sum is divided by n. We'll prove this fact by contradiction. Let's try to construct such an infinite sequence of positive monotonically increasing integer numbers where both inequalities never hold for the same n, and we'll prove that it's impossible. Then we'll prove that number n for which both inequalities hold is unique for any given sequence. It's easy to see that for n equals 1, the first inequality always holds, because both integer numbers a0 and a1 are positive. a1 is always less than a0 plus a1. That forces the next condition, that a2 must be strictly less than a0 plus a1. Otherwise, n equals 1 satisfies both inequalities right there. Then, from the requirement that a2 must be less than a0 plus a1, follows that a2 is less than a0 plus a1 plus a2 divided by 2. The elementary algebra on the screen proves it. But then, from this requirement, it follows that a3 must be less than a0 plus a1 plus a2 divided by 2. Otherwise, n equals 2 satisfies both inequalities. And if we multiply both sides of this last inequality by 2, we can easily prove that a3 must be less than a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus a3 divided by 3. Then we must choose a4, that is also strictly less than a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus a3 divided by 3, because otherwise n equals 3 would satisfy both inequalities, and so forth. We have found the pattern that requires, in order to avoid that the next member of the sequence satisfies the second inequality, it forces the first inequality to hold. If we could continue this process indefinitely, we would construct the infinite sequence of positive integer numbers for which the first inequality always holds for all n and the second inequality never holds for any n. But there is a potential conflict caused by the constraint that our sequence is supposed to be monotonically increasing, which means that each next member of this sequence must be greater than the previous one by at least one. So, to continue this process for each n, each next member n plus one must be equal at least the previous member a n plus one and must be less than a0 plus a1 plus etc plus a n divided by n. After several simple algebraic transformations, we get that n minus 1 equal members on the left hand side, where each member is a n, is less than the same number of members, plus a0 minus n. Since a n is greater than each corresponding member a1, a2, etc., including a n minus 1, the only part that can make this inequality hold is a0 minus n. But it's obvious that when n gets incremented by 1, then sooner or later a0 minus n will be too small for this inequality to hold. The first value of n for which it's impossible to find the next member a n plus 1 that is less than a0 plus etc plus a n divided by n is the case when both inequalities on the left hand side and on the right hand side hold. Moreover, for each next value of n, the next member a n plus 1 will be greater than or equal to the value of the next fraction, which ends with a n plus 1 and is divided by n plus 1.
which can be proved by using the same method we used earlier to prove the opposite. Thus we have proved that for each such infinite sequence of monotonically increasing positive integer numbers, there is one and only one number n that is greater than or equal to 1 for which both inequalities of this problem hold. If this n is greater than 1, then for all the previous members the first inequality holds and the second one doesn't. Then for that number n both inequalities hold and for all the subsequent members the second inequality holds and the first inequality doesn't.